which was advertised in the home news, posted to the bulletin board in the lobby of this building, and will be incorporated into the minutes of this meeting. Uh, will you please stand for a pledge of allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic which stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Councilmember Zasciola? Here. Bruno? Here. Estrada? Here. Karzuski? Here. Slavicek? Here. Vidal? She's excused. <coughs> Um, the next one is the public portion. Did you read it? Yeah, read it. Right. Okay. Uh, before we start the public portion, the council wanted me to read this into the record. Uh, before we open the public portion of the meeting, I remind everyone there's a five-minute time limit per person for public comments. What that means is anyone who wishes to speak during public comment may do so once for up to five minutes. Please also be aware of the Open Public Meetings Act limits public comment to governmental issues, personal attacks or abusive conduct will not be tolerated, <coughs> and those engaging in such conduct will be directed to leave the council meeting. We're we'll open the public portion. Anybody like to speak? Come up to the microphone. Greg Bennett, Fire Chief, 10 York Drive. Uh, just trying to see if we can get a definitive answer on whether or not the fire department can apply for the 2014 Fire Act grant. The grant uh, provides fire equipment, which is sorely needed by the department, at 95% off. Our last communication from the mayor was that we probably could not apply. So to cur uh, the council is aware, in the last two years, the fire department has taken out of service over 40 SCBA cylinders. These cylinders under state contract cost almost $1,000 each. The discretionary budget for the chief is only $24,480. Obviously, we can't afford to replace those cylinders. So the deadline, we're already behind the eight ball. The deadline for us to apply for this grant is next Friday. And we still don't have an answer as to whether or not we can apply. We would limit the borough's exposure to $5,000 in order for us to get a grant, if successful, for $100,000 worth of equipment. Now that was in the DA's hands. So the VA started the process. I don't want to get into the contents of the email, but he asked us if we could cover the match out of our operating budget, which is illegal. So our president referred this to the mayor on election day, and she said she would let us know within a week. Mm -hmm. To date, we don't have a definitive answer. As I already said, we're behind the eight ball because now we're down to nine days if we uh, are given permission to apply for this grant. Can you just explain a little more about what the match requirements are? The match is a 5% match. So if we ask for $100,000 worth of equipment, the borough has to pay, not from the fire department's budget, the $5,000. We've been given permission to apply every year since this grant was started in 2003 after the attacks on 9-11. Uh, the fire department has gotten close to three quarters of a million dollars worth of equipment through this grant for the borough residents and for the firefighters. We have not had an operational increase in budget. I've been chief seven of the last 10 years, and we haven't had a budgetary increase prior to this year since 2001. Uh, in the last 14 years, our budget uh, has gone up a total of $480. And we just can't do it anymore. Our uh, apparatus, according to the NFPA, is suitable for retirement. We have air packs that are older than the firefighters that we can't replace. And now we're being told that we can't apply for a grant. You said 40 cylinders were taken out of service. Right? Yeah. Most, sorry, most of those cylinders were donated uh, from other departments. Uh, they have a 15-year life per the Department of Transportation. They cannot be used past that 15-year life. Um, and if you come into the firehouse right now, we actually scrimped and saved this year, and we're able to purchase six cylinders. Um, I just placed the order earlier this week with our vendor. Uh, that gives us now, department-wide, a total of 11 spare cylinders when they, uh, when they arrive. We have eight riding uh, position, eight, eight air packs on the first two engine, four on the second, and six on the third. We don't even have a spare cylinder for every air pack that we have in the department. 
How much did your budget go up? Four hundred and eighty dollars in the last fourteen years. And I assume that the, the grant you have completed all the legwork. It's just no, we were told that we couldn't apply until we we the the grant is an electronic form. One of the first questions is your either district or your municipality agrees to pay the match. If we don't check off yes, the application is kicked. So you have till Friday? Next Friday. I'll get, I'll, I'll get you information. By when? Tuesday. So that gives us a cool three days to prepare a $100,000 grant application. That's the best I can do. It's the first time I'm hearing. Well, that shouldn't be because there's been communication with the BA and with the mayor. And if they're not sharing information, then you guys have a communications issue. That's been going on over a month, and that shouldn't be. Okay. That should not be that we're trying to get information, a bunch of volunteers, and we can't get an answer whether or not to apply for equipment at 95% off, and now you're giving me a whole three days to write a competitive federal grant. Well, how much more can I give you? I just did today's... What do you want me to give, to give you an answer tomorrow? I want to know why the mayor isn't sharing this information. She said she, needed, she said she needed to talk to the auditor. Is the auditor here? The auditor's not here either. Okay. What a surprise. All right, well, if we don't get it, you'll know why. You can't well, write, you can't write a federal grant in three days, Benny. I Give me a break. Clear for the record. Right. What do you want me to do? This is the first time I'm That's hearing about it. That's the first time this. I'm hearing about it. So. <laughs> what a surprise. We I send agree. formal communication to the borough. We haven't had a public safety committee meeting because the mayor doesn't want me there. Yeah. I'm the chief. Vote on it now. Yeah, vote on it now. Vote on it now. Vote on it now, Vinny. Why it's very you? difficult to serve the community when you don't have the funds. Make a motion and, and vote. Equipment. Thanks for your time. As soon as you let us know if we have time to develop the legwork for the grant. Sit down. Is there? If we put a resolution forward to do this, if we're doing it for the last ten years or seven years, I think the only issue would. I think you could vote to do it. The only issue would be. Where is the money coming from, and is there a budget line item which would be able to support that five thousand right. dollars? That's going to look into because I don't know that anybody sitting here or me knows that answer. If we had to match five thousand dollars, where would it come from? As long as people knew that it had come from some place, it would be fine. Take it out of Brandon's salary; he's not working anymore. If you're getting it at ninety-five percent, we could use a lot more. We're limiting it to that. I agree. And I should point out, too, that we're limiting the borough's exposure. If you think we only need $100,000 worth of equipment, I'll tell you right now, that's not the case. We're limiting this budget, uh, the request for the grant to get an air, uh, air packs. According to the NFPA, air packs should be retired at 10 years of age. Okay, the grant says at 10 years old you should get a new pack. We're re trying to replace six that are 35 years old. Okay, we've been denied the grant because of our size, our call volume, and our budget. But uh, we have a lot more needs than the air packs. Uh, we have turnout gear that's required to be laundered twice a year. I've been a fireman here since 1998 and I've never had my gear washed because we don't have the equipment. Okay, so we have gear now that at 10 years old can't be repaired, which means the fire chief is going to have to sign a waiver of liability if we have guys' gear get damaged and we have to fix it. And I don't think that's appropriate either. And then you're personally responsible. For then I'm personally, well, I'm not going to be chief after December. Um, somebody's going to be Somebody's going to be chief, and they're going to have to sign a, a, a waiver of liability that if somebody's wearing gear that's more than 10 years old, that's uh, damaged, it can't be fixed without us signing a, a, a waiver of liability. And when was your initial correspondence made with the borough? Herb Massa sent me, which I already knew about, but he sent me the letter, the email forwarded that the application period was open. I replied back and said, does this mean that we have permission to apply? He asked for an explanation. I gave it to him. He said, take it out of your operating budget. And again, I don't want to get into the email trail. Uh, if someone's asked to provide it, uh, all my officers have it, Herb should have it, and Dwayne forwarded pertinent parts of it to the mayor um, on election day. And she said, we'll get back to you next week. But what According you, to my calendar, that what was What you had said was that you couldn't take it out of that budget, right? We're not legally allowed. Um, I co-write the grant with another one of our members, and he sent two links to the VA explaining the parameters of the grant that says you can't reduce our budget if we're given a grant, and you can't take the money from our budget. We were asked 
well, if you're going to buy these things, just say that's where the grant match comes from. That's not the way it works. So we have, have always agreed before we submitted the application to what the exposure to the borough would be. And the last few years, the last time we got a grant, 07, right, Joe? I think so. Last time we got a grant was six years ago. And every year we get, uh, we agree what will limit the borough's exposure to financially. So you always apply, but you don't always get it. Every, the first year of the grant it was $750 million. Now it's down to $495 million, and it's a national federal grant, and they've now also included first aid departments. So everybody's competing for the same money. Less money, more people competing for it. And we've actually written our grant as a regional grant, saying that because of our mutual aid commitments and some of the other equipment that we're asking that we would make available to other departments to increase our uh, desirability and... Uh, We've not been successful. So if we give them the approval to do it, and then if it turns out they get something, we could do it. Could we do an emergency appropriation? We probably would not be awarded a grant till probably the end of the summer, beginning of the fall next year. Just to, just to find out Monday where the money is. But I'm saying we'll give them the okay. Not his, we not give his time. With no, no, no. We'll, we'll give, I'll give them the okay on Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday. Well, Monday night, whatever, he can fill it out, and then we can get him to tell him we, we know where the money's coming from. What about Friday? Do it. What about Friday? What do you mean? Borough's closed. Friday? Yeah. Just understand, this isn't like a one-page application. That's why I'm saying Monday. This is a federal competitive <laughs> grant that's going to require, usually we spend about three weeks on it. You're on public safety. Did you know about this? No. <laughs> Gee, that's what I'm show. saying. Then. We have to... I think we got you guys all have my contact we information. We Just let me know what you want me to do. So I don't want to hold up the other people here. But Greg, I'm doing the best I can. Why I'm telling you why you should pass the resolution pending the availability of that. Yeah. Okay. I mean, the we can start to work on it, but we can't submit. Of, are there funds? Well, Take it out of Brandon's salary. But if there's not, if there's not funds, we can do an emergency to cancel an emergency appropriation to make the funds available when you need them. Yes, you can always do emergency I'm appropriations. Not that that yes. seems logical to me. Yes, long? if you need funds, you can do emergency appropriations subject to the cap requirements. This seems money. quite simple to me, just being an outsider. If the fire department has $200,000 worth of needs at a minimum, and that's not even talking about the fact that we can't reach above the second floor of that new mill you're developing. And if you live in Heather Glen, the fire department can't reach the third floor because we don't have a ladder. That's Oh, you guys don't know that? And when no. it lives here on the third floor, Heather Glenn, if there's a fire, jump. <laughs> hey, this is the fact, Vinny. I'm just reciting the fact. It seems to me that if we can get... Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's great. Do you know anything about firefighting? Yes, I do. My phone we'll for somebody else to come. And how does that make you smart? Okay. Oh! <laughs> good question. Do you have a good answer? Yeah. Yeah. The problem is this, we have needs. If we can get a grant at 95% off, we have either needs. we're going to ask you for 100000 or we're going to ask you for 5000 <laughs> Let me know what you want me to do. Take it out of See, Michael so and Richie's salary. I hear they're not going to be around long. If we need to, if you want to move in a second, and vote on it. Make a motion to make it around. I second. So it's a motion to authorize the fire department to to file a grant application with the borough being responsible for a match of up to five thousand dollars. That's what the motion is. Okay, roll call. Council Member Sassiola? Yes. Bruno? Yes. Estrada? Yes. Parzuski? Yes. Flavichek? Yes. Councilor Sassiola?